it's relevant in my mind, and and uh, that's the reason we wrote about it and we included it in that first front page story on October 15th. Uh, that being said, I'm not going to be able to say uh, a lot more than what we've published in, in the paper. As you can imagine, it's a really sensitive subject. Um, but what we did say in the paper is that Rochelle Gibbons, Ian's widow, uh, told me that, uh, that Ian had told her on numerous occasions before his death that uh, things were not working. Nothing is working was her quote, right? Nothing is working. Yes. Yes. She told that to you. She to told me. Yeah. She told me that he had told her this on numerous occasions before he died. Did you find her credible? Do you think? Absolutely. Is there any reason why she would then lie about this? Does she have a vendetta against Elizabeth for some reason? Does she blame Elizabeth for her husband's suicide? Is there some reason she wants to see Theranos tank, or do you think she is just, you know, sort of feels like she needs to, in some way, be honest and upfront about this? What's your take on her? You feel I think incredible. it's fair to say that that she doesn't uh, see her husband's suicide and his work for the company as unrelated. Um, and did I find her a credible uh, source and a, a credible and an upstanding person? Absolutely. Um, she's very saddened by her husband's death, and uh, as you said, she owns uh, shares. Uh, she does. You've heard that. She owns shares. And she, uh, even though it is very much against her economic interest to do so, spoke to me for that story, uh, knowing that, that the story was an investigative piece, a hard look at the company. Hey, everybody. Let me take a moment to tell you about a product I love and use every day. It's video hosting from Wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia. It is awesome. And who uses it? MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, and of course, This Week in Startups. They've got 140,000 customers, um, and they are growing like a weed. Now, why do we use it? Well, if we use a free service like YouTube, we have all YouTube's ads and collaterals and garbage, and it looks terrible, and it's not customizable. So it looks bad, and everything that YouTube does is in service of increasing their metrics, not your metrics. Well, what are your metrics as a business? Well, for me, it's collecting emails. Two, it's having people on my domain, my site, making it look beautiful, not having that ugly thing that comes up at the end of like a YouTube video that shows all the different videos of other people that I don't want to send my users to. I want when the video ends for them to watch another episode of This Week in Startups. I can control all of that with Wistia. That's why I use it. And it works perfectly on Facebook and Twitter with the cards and, you know, you can play it natively on those platforms. It's gorgeous. And it'll give you a ton of support. You want to take control of your video. Video is a huge asset, and you want to do it professionally. The analytics program is amazing. You can see on a user-by-user -user basis how long they're watching and if they rewound and watch a, a section twice, all this kind of great stuff. Um, tons of support, super easy to use. And it's built, uh, a lot of their new tools are built for marketers, so collecting emails and that kind of stuff. And you don't have YouTube or Vimeo doing that kind of stuff. Those platforms have their own goals, which is selling ads and keeping people on their platforms and stealing those users from your platform. Start your two-week trial for free on Wistia, wistia.com slash twist. No credit card is required because they're so confident that you're going to love the service like I do. And you can upload as many videos as you like, wistia.com slash twist, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia dot com slash twist. I love the product. I love the team. And it's been fantastic for us. We got control of our own videos again. And we are now collecting emails every day, dozens of emails every week, hundreds of emails every year, thousands of emails to build our direct relationship. That is not have an intermediary between it, telling us how we can talk to you, our fans. We have a direct relationship. It's brilliant. I love Wistia. All right, let's get back to this amazing episode.